it's Gucci. Like, who doesn't like Gucci? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanti Dajane. I run a blog called Shanti Dajane, and you can follow me on social media at Shanti Dajane, and all of those links will be provided to you below in the description box. Without further delay, let's get into the video. So today I want to talk about my favorite thrifted items. Uh, just to give you a background, I've been thrifting since probably the eighth grade, but I seriously got into thrifting once I got to college is University of North Texas. I believe within that area, there's about four to five thrift stores that I went to during my wonderful four years in college. So all throughout this time, I have been collecting different things that I hold true and dear to my heart that I have built my wardrobe around. Um, and I wanted to kind of show you guys my favorite items that I've thrifted thus far. Um, so first, we're gonna start with accessories. So of course, my favorite metal is gold. I wear gold every single day. I'm not a silver person. <laughs> so a lot of my excess or jewelry um, that I've gotten from the thrift store have been gold. My first piece is going to be this matte gold choker, okay? If you can see the details there. This is a vintage uh, choker that I really love. Um, and it has a clasp right here that you kind of unbuckle to open it and close it. Um, and if I try it on, there it is. You can see that, we'll get a little closer. So this is the first piece. Um, I really like this because of the matteness of it. It's not shiny. So whenever I'm wearing something really extra or something that has a lot of clashing colors, I can put on this muted matte gold choker to finish off the look. All right, so the second piece is the total opposite from a matte gold. It's a very shiny gold choker that has some black detailing there. I I would put this in the early 90s, late 80s, and it's a choker, and it's kind of like a charm where it has glass in there, you just put it in that way, um, but let me try it on for you guys. All right, so as you can see, this is a very bold, gaudy necklace um, that I really love. I usually wear this with a lot of neutral outfits um, whenever I'm wearing like a large white button down or oversized graphic tee that's either black or white. I love how extra this necklace is. <laughs> it describes me in every way, extra. But I really love how gaudy it looks. And I know gold and gaudy is a trend, um, but I've been rocking this for a few years now. All right, so my third accessory or third piece that I love is a vintage necklace that I got at a vintage store in Dallas. Um, and it's this beautiful princess neckline necklace here. Um, and it's gold and silver. So it's mostly silver with a gold outline. Um, and it's simple to put on. You just kind of put it around your neck like this. And there you are. Um, I love how simple and shiny and delicate this is. I probably would wear this uh, with an oversized blazer, a crop top, and some jeans. Just because it's a big statement necklace and you want all of the attention here. So if I had a crop top on that was kind of low cut with a big blazer or oversized blazer on, it'll draw attention straight to this necklace, which is what you want. Um, but I really love this necklace. I would advise you to shop vintage because you can find some really cool pieces like this necklace. <laughs> 
All right, the fourth item that I love that I got for did are some earrings. Um, they are gold, they are muted gold. Here, you can see them. Um, I love how detailed these are and I love the shape of them. They give a vintage 90s look to them. And again, I would wear this probably with my hair up just so that you can catch the attention of them. a very pretty hoop um, and this is I always wear hoops so it's nice to have a cool and different vintage looking hoop a part of your wardrobe or at least part of mine <laughs> um, I love the face on them it's just they're just so great I love the design on them and you can't get these anywhere the second portion of the accessories that I wanted to show you are my purses or handbags that are my favorite um, that I've thrifted thus far. So we'll start with the first one. So the first thrifted bag is this really cute brown beaded bag. Um, it's very mini. This is probably for like brunching or somewhere where you won't have to put a lot of things in your bag or that you'll need. It's a really great bag. And the beads are wooden, if you can see how wooden the beads are. It's just a really cute bag. So. The second thrifted bag that I found, um, which you've seen in my summer bag collection, is this mini cow print bag. Um, and if you can remember, I believe this was about $2.99. Um, and the beaded bag was, I think, around the same price, if not cheaper. But I really love this. And again, cow print is in. So, yeah, it's one of my favorite bags. I found this at the Salvation Army. And I was just browsing the purse section, not really seeing anything. And then... I don't know it just came out the blue really and it was just calling my name hey girl get me pick me up I'm cute and I was like cool okay so I got it <laughs> and it's been rocking with me ever since so one of my favorite bags all right the third and final bag that is my absolute favorite that I've thrifted is this wonderful feather mini bag here isn't it cute um, but this is a thrifted find online. Um, I got this on Depop. Um, and if you can remember, Depop is an online store or you can download it as an app. And different people have, you know, they sell different things on there. They create a store and they put their different items on there. Um, and I was able to find this really cute, really fun, <laughs> ditzy bag. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but the handle has different beads. Let me put down some of the feathers. Has beads on it. But yeah, it's really fun. And it's a conversation piece. Isn't it this is so cute. I love this bag. Me and you forever. Forever. That's how I feel because I love this bag. Anyway, let's move on. All right, guys, so for the next section, it'll be kind of like regular clothes, <laughs> um, but they're not regular because they're great. Um, but the second item, as we move into a, another gold item that I absolutely love, are these pleated gold pants. You can see. They're pleated all the way down. They're gold all the way down. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is by the brand Beulah Style. And I love this fabric because it's stretchy. These are a medium, actually, um, if you can see the tag. Says it's a medium. But since the fabric is extra stretchy, I was able to get them. I got these 
at a vintage store in New York called Beacon's Closet. So if you're in New York, Beacon's Closet is a great store to go to. Also, L Train is a really great store to go to as well if you're in the New York area. Um, but I got these on my travels to New York and I just feel like these pants are a great, elegant piece that you can put with something simple or you can dress it up um, with the next item that I'm going to show you and I'll probably try them both on together but yeah um, I really love these pants I love the pleats they just look luxe and fancy and they look really great on so yeah all right the next piece that I'm going to show you is a jacket preferably a long blazer um, it's this snake print long blazer here I believe this stops probably at my hips um, if not longer than my hips but I really love this print it's what caught my eye um, and I love the neutral colors in this I could see this with a white shirt and some jeans you could even pair this with a graphic tee and some biker shorts if you wanted to um, you could wear this with some slacks some business slacks and a top or blouse it, it, it's really a great a great piece but I really love this it has padded shoulders and the lining is gold as you can see can you imagine the face that I had when I saw this print <laughs> Tiny. I was rushing <laughs> to pick it up because it was so cute and then when I tried it on it was my size it fit great it's like okay all right God sweet me today and I got this <laughs> yes this is a great great jacket and I've worn it multiple times all right, the next piece that I'm gonna show you is a graphic tee. Um, one of my favorite things to look for in a thrift store are graphic tees. Uh, the t-shirt section in a thrift store is relatively large. So sifting through different shirts to hundreds and hundreds of shirts to find the, the shirt that just screams like, yes, this is me. <laughs> But uh, my favorite graphic tee that I've gotten from the thrift store is this Gucci, Gucci Mane tee. Um, I've worn this so many times. It's on my blog as the main picture for my blog. Um, I've worn this with leggings and joggers to jeans to skirts. This is my favorite graphic tee. Oh my gosh. Um, I love it because it's street. And you can mix it with something classic and cool and it's a neutral so it goes well with all of my accessories and it's Gucci like who doesn't like Gucci all right so the next piece is a colorful windbreaker I got this windbreaker at Buffalo Exchange and it was in the men's section um, but I really love how colorful it is the inside lining is this vibrant blue color and then it has this cool 90s print you can see the print there it's very whimsical and different I shot this on one of my blog posts for all of my thrifted looks that I did um, and if you are new to my blog you should go check it out but this was posted on there for um, fully thrifted looks that I styled but I really love this and I kind of wear it off the shoulder to give it like a cool puffed vintage look and I could see it paired with one of those chokers that I showed you and some small hoop earrings just a whole gaudy goodness 90s goodness vibe and when I saw this I was like oh my gosh the print is calling me that's one thing that I really look for in the thrift store are prints prints go a long way in your closet or in your wardrobe in general if you can style it with different things you can pull different colors out of them and style them up that way but I really love this I love the colors that are in it all right the next piece that I am going to show you is something that I got from the thrift store of course but this came from thrift town just like some of the items I believe I got this the same time I got my Gucci graphic tee and it's this satin black satin 
kimono robe and as you can see it has embroidery on the chest area if you can see that and then it also has it on the other side and then what really got me excited was the back so if you can see the back has this large dragon embroidery on it I really love this I have a lot of different creams. I have reds and yellows and this sage looking color that's on the detail of the dragon. I just, this was a great find and I was looking for a kimono that day. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, God, you, you, you work in a mysterious ways and I don't understand it, but here we go. Um, I was just so excited when I got this. It was something that I could easily pair with a white shirt and jeans. I usually wear this in the fall and winter time just because it's so thick because it gets hot in the summertime and I'm not wearing this big black kimono when it's 97 degrees outside. So this is strictly for fall and <laughs> winter in Texas. So um, yeah, but I really love how they added all of the embroidery and detail there. All right, so something that I used to always do when going to the thrift store was looking for outerwear that I could customize. And I was able to customize two things, one, a jean jacket and a khaki trench coat. So I'm gonna show you the denim jacket first. So the front is a typical, you know, medium wash, oversized jean jacket. Um, and then on the back, I decided to paint Josephine Baker on the back with Queen going across the back there in gold. I really love this because I was able to make it my own. And Josephine Baker is a person or entertainer that I learned about in when I was in fifth grade. Stuck with me, I love her to death. Uh, and I wanted her on my back because she's cute and she represents femininity and uh, body positivity and sexuality and just all of that goodness in one woman. So I decided to put her on the back and her newness and her banana skirt. But yes, this is one of my favorite pieces because I can literally rock this and people are gonna say something start a conversation about it I can tell them about good old Josephine okay <laughs> all right so we've come to the last item <laughs> and it is my wonderful customized trench coat guys so I thrifted a regular regular plain trench coat and I was like you know what I could make this popping okay so I decided to go all out, get a whole bunch of different paints, different colors, and just randomly do something. I was just bored, um, trying to pass time during school. I had an off day. I was like, okay, art project. The front is just a regular trench coat, okay? Just regular. And then on the back is a cool design that goes all the way down. Let's see. It goes all the way down. Um, and it says saucy. If you can see <laughs> the back of it, it says saucy. Doop, doop. Buy thrifted things. I think this jacket was a good $10, okay? A trench coat and I was able to customize it and make it look fresh and fire and dope and lit and teed. Whatever your word is, is this, okay? Colorful, fun, yes. All right guys, so that concludes the video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would love it if you give it a like. If you are subscribed to me, please click the bell notification for any future uploads from me. Um, and in the comments, uh, just tell me what your favorite item was and what is something that you 
look forward to when you go through. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to look at different videos for me if you haven't seen any. If you're new here, you know, take a whiff, go through my videos, you'll love them. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.